Isaiah 13. The burden of Babylon, which Isaiah the son of Amos did see. And it shall be as the chaste roe, and as a sheep that no man taketh up. They shall every man turn to his own people, and flee every one into his own land. They shall every man turn to his own people, They shall every man turn to his own people, and flee every one into his own land. Every one that is found shall be thrust through, and every one that is joined unto them shall fall by the sword. Behold, therefore I will gather all thy lovers, with whom thou hast taken pleasure, and all them that thou hast loved, with all them that thou hast hated. I will even gather them round about against thee, and will discover thy nakedness unto them, that they may see all thy nakedness. And I will judge thee, as women that break wedlock and shed blood are judged." and I will give thee blood in fury and jealousy, and I will also give thee into their hand, and they shall throw down thine eminent place, and shall break down thy high places. They shall strip thee also of thy clothes, and shall take thy fair jewels, and leave thee naked and bare. They shall also bring up a company against thee, and they shall stone thee with stones, and thrust thee through with their swords, and thrust thee through with their swords, and thrust thee through with their swords. And they shall burn thine houses with fire, and execute judgments upon thee in the sight of many women, and I will cause thee to cease from playing the harlot, and thou also shalt give no hire any more. So will I make my fury toward thee to rest, and my jealousy shall depart from thee, and I will be quiet, and will be no more angry, because thou hast not remembered the days of thy youth, but hast fretted me in all these things. Behold, therefore, I also will recompense thy way upon thine head, saith the Lord God, and thou shalt not commit this lewdness above all thine abominations." and thou shalt not commit this lewdness above all thine abominations, and thou shalt not commit this lewdness above all thine abominations.